Hey everybody, Mike Ciparini here from Chippers Island Adventures. Today I'm going to put in my two cents on General RV's latest dilemma. So hey, Mike Ciparini here, and if you've noticed on YouTube and various news networks, General RV's been in the news regarding some um, rather unscrupulous behavior regarding financing. And I just want to say, I bought my rig from General RV, and first and foremost, it was a great experience. I'm not a big fan of any type of dealership, whether it's a car, RV, or otherwise but with all things considered my my transition went quite smoothly I bought my rig I ordered it through Max Fox Foxcroft of Matt's RV reviews and that put me in touch with the internet salespeople out in Chicago and those people were great I got to be kind of telephonic friends with Josh who was my point of contact in Chicago during the four or five month waiting period for my rig to arrive. At any rate, I never even got to meet Matt. He texted me and everything and we texted back and forth. He actually gave me a call. And once I got down to Ocala where I picked up my rig, everything went smoothly. The people at the front desk were great. Uh, three ladies sitting there welcoming, welcome, welcoming you to the General RV dealership. And, um, you know, everything went fabulous. The walkthrough went great. They answered all of my questions. And this is all in light. I've never owned an RV before. I've never driven one. And I've only camped out in one that was really a towable. It wasn't an RV. Or, you know, it didn't have an engine on it. And I think, I just want to say that General RV was really good to me down in Ocala, Florida. Now, this particular RV dealership is in Utah. And these particular events that has been on the news is really from like a two or three year period back around 2013 to 2015. What it sounds like to me is one guy doing things that are certainly not above board. Anybody with any type of eyesight can see these documents were doctored. What was 240 months turned into 119 months, unbeknownst to the people buying the RV. My biggest disappointment with General right now is that they don't get in front of this. It's very obvious, anybody can see that. And what they need to do is get in front of it because I think they really are a pretty good dealership. Now bear in mind, every dealership is different. The dealership in Ocala is different from the one in uh, Jacksonville, which is different from the one in Utah, which is different from the one elsewhere. So each one is a little bit different, and they don't even offer the same rigs at all the general RVs, dealerships. So, you know, if you're looking at buying an RV, don't get, don't get distraught over general RV just because of what's in the news as of late. How they handle this is really going to be the big thing. And laying a big balloon payment on these folks who were stretching out their payments over 240 months, which is what, 20 years? And all of a sudden they're going to come up with a big balloon payment in 10? That's not right. They didn't want it. It's not what they signed for. And General RV needs to make this right. They need to take the hit and make it right. It's what happens when you... And, you know, it, real quickly, they could probably chase it, trace it back to who did it. Because it's only a couple of years, it's only a small period, and it's very easy to trace that back. With all things said, go with General RV. I think they're one of the better RV dealers. I've only dealt with one, so I really don't know. But judging by a lot of the complaints I see about other dealerships, I think General's up there. And... You know, I'm not going to fault everybody on, on their repairs or, or things like that because they are overwhelmed. 
I do know that in Ocala they were so overwhelmed they opened they, they built some more bays or something to that effect so you know with that said I'm very happy with my rig so that's my two cents uh, everybody if you like my channel please subscribe hit a like on this video I hope you agree with me General RV is you know it's not a bad dealership at all and uh, I think they're gonna weather the storm just fine thank you for watching all the best to all happy RVs